I'm getting rid of the jet boil. Psych, not getting rid of the jet boil. This is what's up. Stay tuned. YouTube, what is going on? Super excited about another piece of gear. I wanna bring it to y'all's attention. I'm gonna put up a video before this one of the Camping Moon XD2F camping stove. So far this thing, super impressed with it. You'll notice in that video, I mentioned that I was you know, a Jetboil fan, had the Jetboil Flash, sold it. That's how I bought this. Sold the Jetboil Flash for 80, this for 60, sorry, this for 60. Trying to scale down my cook system. With that, I'm gonna show the other half that complements that stove and I'm getting rid of the Jetboil. I got the Minimo, but I'm gonna keep it with me. It's got its use and I'm gonna keep it. As mentioned, I got the Camping Moon stove that I needed a pot. I didn't have a pot to go with any stu uh, stove. Jet boil fan needed something in the form of a titanium pot. I did want titanium, I wanted to keep it light, I wanted to keep it quick, simple, but there was a couple of features I was looking at that I didn't see with the Tokes titanium, which seems to be the name brand that everybody goes for. So instead, um, where I got my Camping Moon XD2F stove on AliExpress, I was looking on there, I think is where I found my perfect match. So if you look at the Tokes, um, they have a whole plethora of different sized pots and bowls and cups and all the things. But what I was noticing looking at their titanium pots was that each one was about $26, give or take. This is three pieces, three hard pieces. It's got a couple extra features that I didn't notice on the others. And I paid $30 for this entire kit. Now the cool part about this is it's titanium. It's got all the features that I wanted and it was $30 for three pieces. Now granted, one of the pieces I probably won't use, but I'll get there. It comes into this little mesh bag, it is see-through. It's got a pull, draw pull, draw pull. You slide that up, expand this out. Now there's the lid, pull it down. Now I'm gonna talk about one of the first features that I was excited for. Now a lot of people are gonna sit there and criticize me and judge and say, well, you don't need a bail on your pot, but I'm just an outdoors guy and I love backpacking, I love camping, I love car camping, I love just being outside. So if I could have a piece of kit that can satisfy every spectrum of what I like to do outdoors, I think this is it. But I have a bale, so if I ever choose you know, to hang this up when I'm out camping, I have the options. It's got fold out handles. It's a 750 mil pot. Now you'll notice the brand is Luxata, Luxata, Lux, I don't know. I know you've heard of it because they're on Amazon. There's a couple other brands out there. I think Nature Hike makes one. It does have a vented lid, if you can see that. Boop. Also has top piece that you pull the lid on. It's got a little slot, right? So it stands up by itself. Take the lid off and I'll get back to this lid. I know it's just sitting on there, but give me, give me a sec. Out pops another piece, back to the lid. One thing I was looking for in a pot was a lid that didn't just sit on the pot, but actually closed. And you'll notice that it does close and it stays in place. That's exactly, that's all I wanted, was a pot that was a snug fit, that had a lid that wouldn't fall off. As a matter of fact, I can hang the entire pot by this lid. Now, is it substantially locked in? No. What if I push down? It's on there pretty good. As a matter of fact, I mean, you have to push down kind of hard. And again, it's on there. That's all I wanted. Okay, done. Next piece goes inside the 750 mil pot. It's got a draw pull. Squeeze, lift, and slide. Open up the opening. Toss that down. It's another cup. So this one is specifically a cup, so not a pot or anything. If you notice, it doesn't have a bale or anything. This one's 450 mil. It's got their name brand on it again. Now this one, the lid is not built the same as the pot. It does have the little slot, so the handle stays up, but this lid does not lock in. Now it's a cup, do you need it to lock in? I don't think so, does it bother me? No. The pot, yes, I wanted it to stay on there. If you also notice, it does not have vent holes. It does not have vent holes like the pot lid, the cup lid has no vent holes. It's probably good that it, since it doesn't have any holes, that it doesn't lock on there because otherwise, poof, when your stuff's trying to boil. Same thing, push up, lays flat, take the lid off, and it's just your normal 450 mil 
cup. Now the last piece is inside. Now am I gonna use it? Eh, I don't know. I have a pretty awesome, I think like $8 titanium long spork that I got off Amazon. And I'm pretty attached to it, I like it. It's got the same type of mesh bag for my spoon or my spork and it's super lightweight, made out of titanium. I'm probably not gonna get rid of it and here's why. Now even though this came with this set, this whole set was 30 bucks and they still included an extra piece, this spoon. So it's got their logo right there, which you probably can't see. It's got the logo and it's foldable. So you're gonna notice you have this slidey piece right here. All you're gonna do is lift up the handle and then there's little indents on the side. And what that's for is you squeeze the bars together and then you slide this because it locks the bars out and then you can't close this. Now the problem with this spoon or spork right there, spork, I got the hiccups, is that it's only this long. It's about as long as my finger, maybe five, six inches. So it's not very long. So if you got a backpacking meal or mountain house meal or something that's got a substantial packaging to it, you're gonna struggle or you're gonna get food all over your knuckles and it may bother some, may not bother none. But if you're one of those, this is gonna be a problem. And this is where I say earlier that I probably won't use this. I'll stick to my good old trusty titanium long spork that I got off Amazon. And again, my spork is unique. I like it the way it is. And it was like eight bucks. I did not buy this set because it had a spork. This was an extra, it's added benefit, luxury. You know, sent my camping gear, um, probably unused, but as a backup. At the end of the day, $30 gets you a 750 mil pot with bale, locking lid, locking handle, a 450 mil cup handles, does not have a locking lid, keep that in mind, nor does it have vents, but it also has a locking handle, so it stands up so you can easily grab it if it is hot. Because you gotta remember, titanium transfers heat. So if your cup is hot, your lid may be hot. And then the pot has the vent hole, so if you ever do wanna lock the lid down, boil, cook food, whatever, I could probably see myself being as shallow as it is, probably being able to cook some ramen noodles in this and not have to worry about it. According to the website, according to the, the labels, it's all titanium. So it's exactly as I wanted. I don't know the weights um, of all this, but it's it's titanium, it's, it's super lightweight. It does have graduated increments right here on the side. They are backwards because when they imprint them, it's on the inside. Probably can't see that. So the graduations are on the inside and it shows the last imprinted stamped mark is 500 mil. Now, I think I did watch one other video where this is 750 mil. And the video that I watched, the guy called him out for, I don't wanna say an inaccurate measurement. They did label the cup obviously as 750 mil and then up to the brim was 750 mil of water. Again, I'm not saying that he was saying that they are inaccurate, but he said it's unrealistic to think that you're gonna boil 750 mils of water because then your boil will spill over. Your water will spill over. True, don't disagree, but 750 mils is quite a bit. Will I fill this to the brim? No. The last graduated mark is 500 mil. Yeah, that will probably work for what I need and nor does it bother me. 30 bucks, sorry. 30 bucks, AliExpress, Luxata, 750 mil pot, 450 mil cup, all titanium, vented lid, locking latch. It's got a bale, 450 mil cup, non-locking lid, non-vented, locking latch. If you're in the mood, you got a folding spoon. It's awesome. It's gonna complement my stove perfectly. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the XD2F stove, open your pot stand, spring loaded, let it go, fold your pot stands out. Then you'll take your 750 mil pot, set it on top, and then that is how much you have pot stand sticking out. I prefer that than not enough. I mean, this pot is not that big to begin with, but like I said, um, I do have a frying pan. I do have to try that on here. Uh, the bottom of the Jetboil frying pan does have like little ribs in it that are supposed to match up with this so that it doesn't just easily scoot around. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I think it's going to complement each other well. It's going to work nice. Can't wait to use it. 
and uh, overall super excited. Now, if you're curious, canister, right? Everybody always worries about the canister. It's not going to fit in the 200 or sorry, the 450 mil titanium cup. Will not fit. That's the cup going inside the canister. Obviously, it won't fit. I'm not going to try. It. But yes, it does fit inside of the 750 mil pot. It's in there. Can I take my 450 mil cup and nest everything back together? Obviously not. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But what does happen is my stove fits, pot stand, a little bit of finagling fits, and I still have room. See, I can put a lighter, towel, fire starters, whatever I want. The lid still latches on. Let's see if it holds it, probably not. Hey, it still holds. That's how powerful that locking lid is. It works. I got a canister, my stove, and the pot stand in here. But the lid locks, and it all fits. Obviously, it rattles. The spoon, pretty sure that will fit in there as well. Spoon, lid, latch, and it holds. That's how powerful that lid is, and that's why I got this. Now, initially, when I was scouring the internet to see does it have a locking lid, I couldn't find anything that for sure told me it had a locking lid. I just kind of went with it, and my dogs were chasing a fly. But luckily for me, when uh, I got this, and I got it, and it did have a locking lid, that was a relief, I guess. I don't know why it's just one of those things that I was looking for in a pot, don't judge. Stove fits in, pot stand fits in, and then, I do have the MSR, I don't have it with me, the MSR uh, canister stand, the metal one. I think it's like 14 bucks. Typically you got like the plastic jet boil ones that go on this. Those are junk. I had two break on me. Uh, they're junk. I just, they don't work and I don't like them. What I did do is go to the, I think it's an MSR, um, and I'll put a picture of it so you know what I'm talking about. MSR canister stand. It's metal. It opens up three ways, kind of like a tripod. The legs just swivel out. And then it's got a plastic spring-loaded slider. So you hook canister in. And then the other leg, you pull the black button down, put this down, let go of the button, and it locks in. And it's substantially longer in the legs than those black and orange uh, plastic legs that you get for these by Jetboil. That thing is just, I don't care if it fits in the pot or not. It's going in my bag. I don't care. It makes me feel safe when I have all of this um, on dry environment burning stuff. So it's just gonna go with me. So that's the only piece that is technically missing from this whole kit. Like I say, I'll just find a spot for it and it's gonna be fine. 30 bucks, AliExpress, the Luxeda, am I saying it right? I don't know. Um, Luxeda 750 mil pot. It's got a spoon. Spoon goes in the 450 mil cup which I'm excited to use. I don't know how it's gonna work, if it's gonna be like super hot when I'm trying to drink coffee. I do like my coffee. I don't, I'm not a coffee connoisseur, so it's not like when I go out on trail, I bring a coffee grinder and no, I just bring the packets. Taster's Nasty, I think. Uh, Luke from the Outdoor Gear Review calls it. Bring the Taster's Nasty, it works. It's instant coffee, I don't care. It's, it's gonna be fine, it wakes me up. So yeah, the 450 mil pot with the spoon in the 750 mil pot, tuck all that down flat. Boop. Put all that down. Lid snaps down. Now you do have the bail, the handle that sticks out right here. And the cool part is it's got some friction to it. So as you can see, I can lift the whole pot by the bail. So it's not like free. So when you do hang it up on something, that bail is going to stay. It's not going anywhere. Grab your second bag or third, depending on if you count the spoon. Draw pull, slide it down, and that's your cook kit. Now between this, whatever version I go with, and my stove, that is what's gonna go with me on the trail. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, subscribe, watch my other videos. Just getting started, um, 109 subscribers, but I appreciate every single one of you that did subscribe to my video. And as I go on, the videos will try to get better, I promise. Um, and yeah, winter's coming here in Wyoming, September, so uh, that's coming up, but yeah. If you watched this video and you enjoyed it, I appreciate it and I love you. Thank you for uh, you know giving yourself and your time to watch this video. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Luxeda 750 mil pot, Luxeda 450 mil cup, and a spoon that I probably won't use. Go look it up, it's $30 on AliExpress. 
absolutely a much better alternative than Jetboil if that's what you're looking for. Um, and yeah, excited to use it. As always, enjoy being outdoors, challenge yourself, and always look something to take you outdoors. Peace.